Hello wonderful viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're on a journey to the far reaches of the polar skies, into the enchanting world of the Aurora Borealis. You've probably seen pictures or videos of this dazzling spectacle, but have you ever wondered what causes these ethereal lights to dance across the night sky? Or why they display such a breathtaking array of colors? Well, wonder no more. We're going to delve into the whys and the hows peeling back the layers of mystery that shroud this mesmerizing natural phenomenon. We'll explore the captivating science behind it, the best places to witness it, and even the myths and legends it has inspired throughout the centuries. So buckle up and prepare to be enlightened. Join me as we unravel the whys, the hows, and the captivating science behind this mesmerizing natural phenomenon. First things first, what exactly is the Aurora Borealis? Picture this. You're standing under the vast, inky expanse of the polar night sky when suddenly the darkness comes alive with a symphony of colors. This celestial ballet, a dance of greens, blues, reds, and purples, is the Aurora Borealis. It's a natural light display that primarily graces the skies of high-latitude regions around the Arctic Circle, including places like Norway, Sweden, Finland, Canada, and Alaska. Also known as the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis paints the polar night sky with its vibrant strokes turning it into a spectacular canvas. It's like a grand light show put on by Mother Nature herself, one that has left countless viewers spellbound by its sheer magnificence. But the Aurora Borealis is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a testament to the intricate and fascinating interplay of solar and terrestrial physics. It's a beautiful manifestation of how our planet interacts with the sun and its charged particles. It's a cosmic dance, a spectacle of light and color that holds within it the secrets of our solar system. Now you might be wondering, what causes these vibrant colors to dance across the night sky? To answer that, we must delve into the realm of solar winds, magnetic fields, and atmospheric gases. Stay tuned as we unravel the captivating science that brings the Aurora Borealis to life. To understand the Aurora Borealis, we need to delve into the science behind it. It's a fascinating journey that takes us from the heart of our sun to the very edge of our atmosphere. The story of the Northern Lights begins about 93 million miles away on the surface of the sun. The sun is a fiery, restless ball of gas, constantly churning and swirling. Occasionally, it ejects a burst of charged particles known as a solar wind into space. These charged particles are hurled through space at speeds of around a million miles per hour. After a journey of two to three days, they reach our planet. Now, if these particles were to hit the Earth directly, they could cause serious harm. But, luckily for us, Earth is surrounded by a protective shield, the magnetosphere, created by our planet's magnetic field. This magnetic field acts like a deflector shield, guiding these charged particles toward the polar regions. As these particles approach the poles, they start to interact with the gases in our atmosphere. Each particle carries energy from the sun and when they collide with an atmospheric gas molecule, they transfer some of that energy. The molecule absorbs this energy, which excites it, pushing it into a higher energy state. But the molecule isn't comfortable in this state and it quickly wants to return to its normal or ground state. To do this, it releases the extra energy in the form of light. The color of the light depends on the type of gas and the altitude at which the collision occurs. Oxygen molecules produce green and red light, while nitrogen molecules produce blue or purple light. These multitudes of tiny emissions combine to create the swirling, dancing lights of the Aurora Borealis. It's a cosmic ballet choreographed by the sun and performed by the Earth for all of us to enjoy. So the next time you look up at the night sky and see the northern lights, remember the incredible journey those lights have taken to put on their show. These particles, mainly electrons and protons, interact with gases like oxygen and nitrogen, causing them to emit light. Now, let's talk about the breathtaking colors we witness during an aurora display. It's like a cosmic kaleidoscope, a celestial painter's palette splashed across the canvas of the night sky. But have you ever wondered why the aurora borealis boasts such a vibrant array of colors? The answer lies in the very air we breathe. Our atmosphere is a mixture of different gases, each with its own unique properties. When the charged particles from the sun collide with these gases, they excite the atoms, causing them to emit light. Think of it as a neon sign on a cosmic scale. 
The color emitted depends on the type of gas and the altitude at which the collision occurs. Oxygen, found about 60 miles up, emits a greenish-yellow light, the most common color you'll see in an aurora. But at higher altitudes, around 200 miles above Earth, oxygen can emit a rarer crimson-red light. Nitrogen, another major player, adds to the spectacle. When excited, it can produce both blue and purplish-red hues, adding depth and complexity to the aurora's palette. So when you gaze upon the aurora borealis, you're not just witnessing a celestial light show. You're seeing a sky-high science experiment, a dance of particles and gases, each contributing to the symphony of colors. The combination of these colors creates the awe-inspiring palette we associate with the northern lights. If you're eager to witness this celestial spectacle, you'll want to know the prime locations. The aurora borealis primarily dances across the skies of the high-latitude regions near the Arctic Circle. Countries nestled in this area offer some of the most breathtaking views of this natural light show. Norway, known for its fjords and picturesque landscapes, doubles as a phenomenal stage for the northern lights. Particularly, Tromso, a city located well within the Arctic Circle, is a famed hotspot for aurora chasers. In Sweden, the town of Kiruna is another prime location to catch the spectacle. Surrounded by wilderness and the Ice Hotel, it's a winter wonderland that often gets graced by the northern lights. Finland, with its vast forests and numerous lakes, also boasts several spots to view the aurora. The Finnish Lapland, especially around Rovaniemi, is a popular destination for those seeking the northern lights. Crossing over to North America, Canada's expansive northern territories, especially Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut, offer vast, dark skies perfect for viewing the aurora borealis. Last, but definitely not least, is Alaska in the United States. Fairbanks, located in the heart of Alaska, is renowned for its clear nights and dark skies, making it an ideal location to witness the dance of the northern lights. But it's not just about location. Timing plays a significant role too. The best time to watch the aurora borealis is during winter and around the equinoxes, when nights are longer and darker. This is when solar activity is also usually high, leading to more intense and frequent displays. So, if you're planning a trip to catch this spectacle, remember to factor in both the location and the timing of your travel. The northern lights are a fickle phenomenon. And while there are no guaranteed sightings, these places and times will significantly increase your chances. Timing is also crucial, so check the seasons with longer nights and increased solar activity for optimal chances. The Aurora Borealis has captured the human imagination for centuries, giving rise to various myths and legends among different cultures. These fascinating tales are as diverse as the Northern Lights themselves, each one imbued with the unique character of the culture from which it originates. Indeed, Many indigenous peoples of the Arctic regions perceive the Aurora Borealis as spirits of their ancestors. They believed these celestial lights were the souls of the departed, dancing in the night sky, a spectacle of joy as they continued their journey in the afterlife. Moving westward, the Norse mythology portrays the northern lights as the glowing armor of the Valkyries, the warrior maidens who chose the fallen heroes to join Odin in the legendary Hall of Valhalla. In contrast, the Finnish folklore presents a more serene image, depicting the aurora borealis as the magical spume of water sprayed by a celestial whale swimming through the starlit skies. Across the Atlantic, the Inuit of Greenland saw the lights as the spirits of children who had died at birth, while the Alaskan Inuits believed them to be the spirits of animals they hunted, seals, salmon, and deer. From ancient tales of celestial battles to folklore about spirits dancing in the sky, these stories add an extra layer of magic to the already enchanting phenomenon. As we wrap up our journey into the fascinating world of the Aurora Borealis, I hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for this natural wonder. The dance of colors across the polar skies is a spectacle that truly embodies the magic of nature. If you've had the privilege of witnessing this phenomenon or dream of experiencing it, do share your stories. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible explorations of the wonders of our world. Until next time, keep looking up.